Welcome to Top of the, to top of the Morning and more specifically to the legal landscape. Edge FM partners with attorneys from Don Cox and uh, we present this feature every Tuesday morning at this time. Today's topic, as we've been telling you, can employers mandate employees to take the COVID-19 vaccine? Before we introduce our guest, let me just share some facts with you. We're now in our feature, The Legal Landscape. And over the last few days, the, the government implemented its vaccination blitz program in several locations, uh, select locations across Jamaica. Now, the Minister of Health reported that approximately some 30,000 Jamaicans voluntarily took the COVID-19 vaccine this past weekend alone. While it it appears that voluntary vaccination is off to a good start, there are many citizens who remain skeptical and afraid even to take the vaccine. Now, for some companies, especially in the healthcare and tourism industries, there's a lot of pressure to have the entire workforce vaccinated. But the big question is, can employers mandate or compel their employees to take that shot? Well, we have a gentleman who is in the know and will help us through this uh, to navigate this subject. Let's welcome our guest at this time, Emil Leiber, who is a returning guest, by the way. Good morning, Mr. Leiber. How are you today? Good morning. I'm fine, thanks. And you? Not too bad at all. Welcome uh, once again to the program. Now, we have seen, Emil, where there are several, well, in fact, we have seen mandatory immunization programs work in our school system for many years, where students are required to take numerous vaccines before they are allowed to attend schools. My question is, can employers do the same thing at the workplace and require uh, employees to take the COVID-19 vaccine? Um, well, the simple answer, which is no, um, the context of schools and education is actually according to the law. Because in Jamaica, we have um, something known as the Public Health Act and the Public Health Immunization Regulations, mm-hmm. which have been around from 1986. Um, and it is those regulations that require parents to immunize children and require the person admitting a student to a school um, to ensure that they are immunized. So in the school context, um, the legislation applies. But in the workplace, um, that is just a matter of contract between the employer and employee. Okay. So what kind of penalty can a company put in, into that vaccination policy? And, and, and can, they, can the policy provide that employees uh, be terminated if they refuse to take the vaccine? Well, that has not yet been tested. I doubt any company ha- would have had any such policy prior to COVID. Um, and now seeking to implement a policy like that is basically changing the terms of employment under which the employee originally agreed to work for you. Um, So there would be significant difficulties with an employer now trying to impose that um, on an existing contractual relationship. It may be different if it is a new employee who is coming in and the employer is saying, well, Similar to to some existing workplace policies, you have to go get a medical examination and so on. Yes. Um, But I'm not aware of there ever being any situation where an employer is requiring an employee to inject something or have something injected into their body, you know, which goes into perhaps some areas of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's an area where employers would need to be very careful how they trade. I want to ask another question on that uh, related subject. Now, I uh, just want to tell the listeners, if you have uh, a burning issue, a question on this topic that you'd like to share, then please put it forward at a WhatsApp number, which is 876-383-1166. The topic for discussion this morning in the legal landscape, can employers mandate employees to take the COVID-19 vaccine? Continuing with our discussion, uh, Mr. L- Mr. Leiber. Now, if an employee... Uh, refuses to take the company's vaccination policy, can the company formulate policies that treat vaccinated employees differently from unvaccinated employees? Well, that is an interesting question um, because it is an employer always has a responsibility 
to their employees to create a safe work environment, a safe system of work. So if it is, for example, you do have one employee um, or a few employees who are putting other employees at risk potentially, whether by behavior or otherwise, um, then it, it would be reasonable for an employer to put in place policies to protect um, the majority of the workforce. Um, and so what form that might take, though, would be open to interpretation, but it may well perhaps even in extreme cases go so far as having separate dining areas mm. um, so that those who are vaccinated and protected can sit and eat together while those who are not may need to, you know, have a socially distanced dining room. Interesting. Um, what about providing sick leave or unpaid leave to employees who display COVID-19 symptoms? Uh, I'm also asking, can the employer refuse sick leave to an employee with minor COVID-19 symptoms after he or she has taken the vaccine? Um, again, the simple answer to that is no. Um, our sick leave law does not, um, does not limit the types of illnesses for which you can get sick leave. So you're entitled to sick leave um, without even stating the reason for up to two days and then three days and over you require a medical certificate from a doctor certifying that you are ill and do in fact require leave. Um, But certainly there is no restriction on the employee's right to sick leave under our existing law. Oh, we're finding this quite interesting. Here's another question I have for you. Um, Can an employer be found liable for not providing a safe place of work if it does not have a mandatory vaccination policy and employees or visitors contract the virus at the workplace? Well, that that would be interesting, um, but it likely could only possibly apply in the context where vaccines are widely and readily available. So if it is that everyone, so right now we know that we're on a, we have a vaccination blitz going on, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone um, has access. Let's say, for example, they are not near a vaccination center. By the time they get there, all the um, vaccinations have been um, utilized. Um, because right now, as I understand it, the number of injections uh, that we have available is well below the population of Jamaica. (laughs) Um, And so an employer couldn't mandate something that the employee couldn't reasonably necessarily comply with. Um, And also, it would, there there might well be some implications regarding the individual rights of the employee regarding um, any type of mandatory policy that says, well, you know, you must have this injection or you must have that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's a developing area, no doubt. We'll see some cases on it. I think there are some cases in the Czech Republic regarding mandatory vaccination um, for school children and so on, which mm-hmm. would impact where they looked at the balance with the general benefit to the public of herd immunity, because that's what you really want to get to with vaccines, you know. Where so many people are vaccinated, and it basically generates herd immunity and helps everyone collectively, Yes. um, as versus the individual right to choose, to say, well, for whatever reason, I'm not comfortable um, with having someone um, inject me with a vaccine, Mm -hmm. and I don't wish for this to be done. So there's always that tension between the greater good and the individual right. Yes. One of the listeners, one of our listeners has sent a question in. Lacine, thank you. Uh, she's uh, questioning whether, she'd like to know whether or not um, one would have to uh, take the, um, uh, the the COVID-19 test before uh, being vaccinated, if that were to be required by the employer. Well, that's a bit of a medical question, mm-hmm. um, but certainly the COVID, um, anecdotally, yes. if you are COVID positive, you, as I understand it, may be at greater risk if you take the vaccine. Mm-hmm. 
So I think it would be prudent um, for you to take a test beforehand um, just to ensure, because that's another, it raises another question as well. If an employer yes. has a mandatory vaccine policy, for example, and someone takes the vaccine and has an adverse reaction, then might the employer be found liable for any medical injury or, or, or suffering that may be caused by that employee um, having taken the vaccine. Mm-hmm. Thank you for, for that answer. Well, uh, time flies when we're having such a wonderful discussion, Mr. Leibo. We are down to our final uh, tidbit, and that is the did you know tidbit. Can we close out with yours today? Yes. Did you know that mandatory vaccination, I said, has been around for decades. So this, this concept where, oh, well, we're not sure about, you know, our rights and so on. Um, a COVID-19 vaccine in law really should be no different from any other vaccine. And the minister um, re- responsibility for public health under the Public Health Act can simply add the COVID-19 to the list of vaccines that should be taken. And then, um, or certainly the next generation will all have to take COVID-19 vaccines, which would then make the workplace question a moot point. Oh, interesting. That's the tidbit for this morning. Uh, or did you know tidbit from uh, uh, Mr. Leiber, Emil Leiber, who we thank for a really enlightening discussion this morning. Thank you so b- very much. And uh, we wish you a great day today, uh, Mr. Leiber. No problem. Thanks, Richie. All right. All the best. Um, Emil Leiber is an attorney at law and partner at Don Cox. And he was our guest this morning in the legal landscape here on The Edge.